Hi everybody! Pastor Ryan, the roving giant here. I have five tips for you, five tips for being respectful out on the trail. Let's get started. Tip number one, just plain be friendly. I mean, you go past people on a trail, you tend to interact with other people at some point. I know most of us are coming out here to get away from it all, but just doing something simple like looking somebody in the eye, saying hi, walking past. And if you want, ask how the trail's been. Give some tips, say, hey, this is how far I've hiked. We've gone three miles and this is what we went by. Or encourage them, say something along the lines of, hey, you only got another half a mile and you're gonna get to that river. You don't realize how much people will appreciate just a little bit of an update from somebody who's already been there. Tip number two, hike your own hike, hang your own hang. Other people are gonna have opinions on how you should be doing what you're doing, but as long as you are just simply being respectful of other people, feel free to do it at whatever pace you want. As long as you are being respectful of the other people on the trail, do it your own way, have fun. You're out here to be by yourself and do it the way you wanna do it, so enjoy. Tip number three, I'm kinda on a little bit of a hill. It's not much of a hill right here, but it's enough of a hill. I'm getting a heart rate going a little bit. Going uphill is just harder work for most people than going downhill. The general rule of thumb is if you are going downhill and you come across somebody who's heading uphill, just pause, step to the side of the trail, let the uphill person go by so that they can keep their momentum going, and then you can continue downhill at your pace. Stay on the trail as best as you can. Now, in the winter, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, there's plenty of snow cover in the ground. You're not gonna wreck the trail or wreck the woods by going and walking off trail. Um, but especially places like the Adirondacks, places like the Finger Lakes Trail where there's already a preset trail and it goes, especially when it goes through private property, try your best to stay on the trail. Um, that includes when there's a whole bunch of mud on the trail. Now sometimes you just can't. Sometimes you gotta go around, but as much as you possibly can stay on the trail because that helps us wear just one spot instead of wearing out the entire forest, if that makes sense. Last but not least, tip number five. Keep your noise to yourself as best you can. People come out into the woods because they want a little bit of peace and quiet. If you go hiking by them with a little portable boom box just booming away your music, you are the only person who wants to hear that. Nobody else wants to hear your music. So earbuds, they're a magical thing. You can hear your own music. If you want to hear music instead of the silence of nature, dude, hang your own hang, hike your own hike. But don't make other people do the same with you. Don't make other people listen to your sounds while you're out there. Now, I recognize I make a lot of noise when I'm out here filming, but if I see somebody coming up the trail, I'm putting my camera away. I'm putting my stuff away. I'm not going to be gabbing to the camera because I want to be respectful of other people's experience in the woods because we're out here to share it. Well, there you have it. Five tips for being responsible on the trail. Now that is not by any means an exhaustive list. What ones did I miss? Leave them in the comments. And hey, until next time, stay curious. <laughs>